Good morning, Philippines. This is Jim from Wakaliwood Studios, bringing you the fresh news of the day. Today, we will be discussing the controversial drug policy proposed by President Rodrigo Duterte of the Philippines. Today, we have Fulabi Wakani on the case. So, Fulabi, please give us the breakdown of this drug policy enforced by our president. Well, Jim. Rodrigo Duterte made this policy allowing regular citizens of the Philippines to take action against other people who they may know that are involved in any way with illegal substances. According to National Police Chief Ronald De La Rosa, the policy is aimed at neutralization of illegal drug personalities nationwide, meaning citizens have the right to kill anyone they may know to be acquainted with drugs. So Fulabi, what would this mean for the citizens of the Philippines? Well, Jim, this gives the others the freedom to do many things against crimes involving drugs. Speaking of these crimes, we have actually had a video sent in from an anonymous citizen showing us the chaotic reality of the new policy. Here is the video that has been sent. Oh man, I'm finally back to my village. It took so long getting home with no water. Finally I can get some. Huh? Who is that? Is that? Oh no, you are not getting away like that. Hey, you are a drug abuser, aren't you? Show me your drugs. You know what? You don't even have to show me. I can tell by your clothing. You sleep by the streets and get drugs. You, you must have a bounty. Get back here. I want a bounty right now. You're going to give me your drugs and I'm going to get paid. As you can see from the video, citizens are fighting drug lords with weapons in a very hectic matter, and although this may be helping drug use plummet to a new low, it is very easy for the citizens to mistake other citizens for drug users or kill regular citizens and frame them as drug users. Indeed it is. As you can see in this video, this is a rather hectic time in the Philippines, some even considering it a war. However, people are still going by as normal, as for those not involved. And when was this policy introduced, Food Lobby? Well, the policy has been in effect for quite a while. It wasn't until August 2nd, 2016. Although it's controversial in terms of human rights and so on, the policy has been in effect for a long time, so all of the citizens are following the policy routinely as they wish. People are still very active in taking action against drug laws due to the bounties proposed against them by the governmental forces. Okay, well, as for this policy's effects in detail, here is a graph of the amount of drug-related deaths after this policy was laid out. As you can see, there are a lot more deaths after the drug policy was announced, because many of the people who own drugs were neutralized by the citizens. Ah, uh, yes. According to the graph, the policy does seem very effective, but it turns out that our own president of the Philippines has created a direct relation between this event to the Holocaust in a press conference taking place in the year of 2016, stating that rather than there being 3 million Jews in need of execution in the Holocaust, there are 3 million drug abusers in need of execution in the Philippines. Because of that statement, people have taken this as a very improper policy due to the intent of it, as stated by our president on that day. This was not only really the suspicious, negative, biased comments and statements from our president in this drug policy. And that brings us to the next question. Is this policy really effective or is it a toxic act of murder? Can we trust our president or is he trying to kill us improperly to ourselves? Ah uh, yes, that is a very good question that we should all be asking at this time. I think that we very well could trust our president as long as the policy is able to be edited sometime in the future, hopefully in which is soon. However, I believe we need to gather up and make a cause worthy to be seen by the president himself so that things can change. If things don't change, then I do believe we should take further to begin with a gathering of support. Yes, this is a very good idea, but the citizens could be too interested in the ability to kill the drug users, especially with the bounties. So will they really intend on retaliation? I'm unsure about that, but we wouldn't need many people against that policy. After all, the UN has been hot on the tail of the drug policy, due to supposed ninja killing from policemen, who were not meant to follow the drug policy for some time along with some very controversial cases of torture relating to teenagers in groups. Perhaps this could mean that with decent support, the UN could take action against this policy and terminate it for once and for all. Well, that is very possible, and there are a lot of actions worthy of the UN's attention. But I think that such a detailed branch of this topic is best for another day into a Hollywood Studios. For now, let's move on to our next topic. 
And so we shall. Coming up is more information about the new 1.13 update, adding foxes and lighting effects to our world, along with the daily weather and more. We'll be right back after this short commercial break, so stay tuned in to our Hollywood Studios. TeamTrees.org is a large-scale organization directly related to the Arbor Day Foundation. By 2020, Team Trees has a goal of planting 20 million trees, and we are already above 10 million. For just $1, you can plant a tree and be part of a cause for a better modern environment for future generations. You can also donate more than just $1 with people donating as much as a million trees. Join the cause for the future today by planting the roots of the future and go to TeamTrees.org. And we are back in Wakollywood Studios with Phil on the Daily News. Thank you, Jim. Let's continue with the new 1.13 Minecraft update. The new Minecraft update allows 1.13 content from Minecraft Java to be synced with the Bedrock platform, along with new elements. There are now individual note block sounds for all musicians in the Philippine area looking for more variety. There's also a new light tool for all builders of the world, allowing builders to make anything illuminated with three choices of Latin types. When the Latin is placed, it is invisible and can be walked through, allowing you to never worry about the dark again. This may further increase the death rate for drug lords in the Philippines, since darker places can now be illuminated. However, for people using Java, the update is yet to receive the lighting feature now in Bedrock. Drug lords in the Philippines may begin moving to Java edition to preserve their hideouts, so if you are on Java, be on the lookout for an inclining amount of drug abuse in the area. As for the weather, we have clear, sunny, and warm skies yet again. There's no thunderstorms to worry about for a good amount of time, so you can live your peaks outside without worrying about zombified beasts in your yard. And with that, that's all for our daily broadcast. We'll see you next time in Wakollywood Studios. Ah, so we made it to the end of the video. I wanted to say before I go, thank you for watching. Because this video took quite a lot of time, effort and coordination and we hope you all enjoyed it. We'll see you next time on the Wakollywood Studios.